back to basics in this video and talk about just the typical face makeup routine that I use on pretty much a daily basis. Now I am on HD television daily so um, I'm looking for something that's going to have pretty good coverage most of the time. While I am always experimenting with different products and the specific things I use might be different day to day, the techniques I use are pretty much the same and the sequence of products and things like that. So I thought it might be fun to go through that with you and just kind of show you what things have been working for me lately. There are going to be days here and there where you're going to just want to slap on some tinted moisturizer and go and this is not that routine. This is, you know, going to take you through foundation, concealer, bronzer, powder, blush, all those different things. Um, just for the face. The look I like a lot of the time is kind of glowing but never greasy. That glow on my cheeks is not coming from any amount of oil. That's coming from just the right product in the right places. So here's how I do it. So first off, I do moisturizer, and I'm using the Olay Complete Broad Spectrum SPF 15 for combo to oily skin. This has been really good for me um, during the hot months when I feel like my skin gets more oily. And then I used my Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer. Um, when I recommend this to people, I usually recommend they shake it up first because I feel like the product gets um, can get a little runny at times, but it's still a very good primer. So and you get a lot of product in there too. Then um, again, I rotate foundations a lot. Lot. This is one that I'm kind of in the process of testing, so I'm using it today. It's the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. So I just kind of pump some onto my finger, maybe one and a half pumps there, and then I dot it around, not really for the purpose of blending, but just to get the product down in certain areas. I kind of concentrate the most product in sort of the center part of my face. And then when I really get to the blending part with my brush, then I blend outward. Then I use my Sigma F80 brush. It's a flat top kabuki brush, and I just think it does a great job um, blending out foundation, making it look really even and flawless. So, um, And it also seems to fit kind of nicely even around the eye area. So I get it all up in there and just kind of use circular motions. Make sure to kind of take it down as well around the jawline, a little bit onto the neck just so it's all really blended. Then I go to concealer and one that I'm really enjoying right now is from a um, brand called Dalton and this is sold on QVC. Um, the product is called Conceal It. I'm using it in medium and this is actually a lot of product. This this is about the size of a typical powder compact but um, it has a sponge there. You could use it like in larger swaths across your face and it's also got this secondary um, little lid here to keep it keep it from drying out. So um, I just use that with my finger and I dot that over different areas. You can see the coverage is, you know, just with one tap over that sunspot there. Um, it really took it away. This is also great on the under eye. It's a good creamy texture. It's not maybe quite as thick as, say, uh, Benefit's Erase Paste, so it's kind of a happy medium, I feel like, for a creamy concealer that uh, still has really nice coverage. So um, I'm just going around my eye, really get the inner corner, and I do some around my nose just to, I feel like this area can get looking a little dull, and I have some broken capillaries on the sides of my nose, so I just go over that. If you really want um, just the most flawless look with your concealer, I have um, this product from Bare Minerals called Summer Bisque. Um, there's Bisque, there's Summer Bisque, there's different shades of it, and this is the uh, jumbo size here, actually. Um, but I take a little bit of this with um, this brush from Sigma. I find that this is good for this under eye area. And so what I'll do is tap out a little bit of that product here in the lid and then just kind of go over that area. And I find that it's just great about mattifying everything here and really taking away the look of any sort of circle. I find this even makes, you know, a lesser quality concealer a little more full coverage. A little bit goes a long way. 
um, and you can go around your nose, anywhere else with that that you so want. now that the whole complexion is basically evened out, I go over it with some powder. Um, I'm going to use my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat powder. And this says powder foundation. I just use a little bit of this, and I'm using medium beige. Um, just get a little bit on my brush and dust it very lightly. If you wanted to use it like a powder foundation, you know, use the sponge or whatever's provided there and go over it in a little more with a little more product in a thicker way but for this you know just really light I just really like the finish of this powder then I'm going to put a little bit of bronzer on all over I'm using my Revlon photo ready uh, bronzer the shade is bronzed and chic and as you can see it's four shades it's all matte and I'm just swirling my big brush in there just to get a little bit of all the colors and then just kind of take this all over the face. If you're trying to give your skin tone a little bit of a boost in this way, you know, I'm, you can see I'm not really trying to contour anything. I'm just applying this all over. Um, you could use a bronzer that maybe has a little bit of a, a shimmer to it if that's what you want, but I do think that the matte is, is really natural looking. And then be sure to take that down um, around your jawline, down your neck, um, decollete area. And here's what I love about this product is the multi-purpose nature of it. You got your darker couple of tones right down here. So I'll take an angled brush and just pick up a little bit of that and then this can become my contouring step. So um, I kind of like to center the product right here and apply kind of like I'm going right under my cheekbone and then circular motions to buff it out. So it's kind of like you're putting the product on and then you're giving it a really good blend. As you can see, getting right back by the ear and applying it and then buffing it. Going underneath, around the hairline. You just really want to make sure you're getting it right in the hairline. Don't be afraid to kind of overlap a little bit with the hair because it's going to be really obvious if you don't do that. Then I'm going to do a little blush. Um, today I'm using my Milani Baked Blush in Dolce Pink and it's just a really pretty fresh pink with some, some shimmer. And I just kind of circle this on the outer part of the apple of my cheek and then bring it upward. I'm not getting it in too close to the nose um, because then it can look a little funny on your face and it can kind of bring a look of redness or pinkness or whatever color of your blush is really close to your nose and we don't want that. So keeping it kind of out and then up. And that upward motion, you know, is again keeping the face looking a little bit more slim that way. Sometimes I also like to go with a little blush um, right on the brow bone. I feel like there's something about that that really pulls the whole face together and makes it all look a little bit more bright. Um, that blush was practically like a blush and highlight in one, but just to show you my highlight step, um, I've got my Hard Candy. This is actually a bronzer in Tiki, but it really is a highlight to me. And I just take a little bit of that. You can use the same brush, and I'll go right up here, right on top of the cheekbone. Maybe right down the bridge of the nose, and a little bit right on the Cupid's bow area. Making that stand out once you do your lip product, it all really pops. I've been using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. I just pick a little bit of that up and I just dust it really lightly all over everything. Use some kind of shimmery products and I've still got some glow on there so it's not taking that away. It just it really does add to just the even look of everything and like I said it helps staying power too. I do switch up my products a lot so sometimes I might use this as my finishing step. Sometimes I'll reach for my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. Both work well as a good like finishing touch type product. So I do find um, just doing my makeup in this way, doing the foundation, setting it with powder, setting the concealer, things like that, um, I feel like it all really contributes to a pretty long wearing look. So things I'm going for are again um, good coverage, long wearing, and something that has the appearance of a little bit of a glow to the skin as well. So I hope this was helpful to you. Um, let me know if there are any other kind of back to basics type videos you would like to see since in some cases it was a, it was many, many videos ago that I did something like this initially. So probably about time to update some of those. So send me your requests and um, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and have a great day. Bye.